Hello all, welcome to part 32 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use value attribute in hooks. So let's get started. So in the previous sessions already covered a lot of information about hooks. That is what are hooks in Cucumber and how to use them. That is at the rate before and at the rate after hooks. And uh, I explained about tagged hooks in Cucumber, then before step and after step hooks, then multiple hooks, okay? Can we create, can we create multiple hooks and uh, can we specify their order, okay? That I covered in the previous session. Now in this session, guys, I'm going to cover, okay? The value attribute, how to use this value attribute in hooks, okay? So let me switch to the Eclipse ID. So in the previous session, guys, if you remember, in the register.java file, we created multiple hooks, okay? So I'll just uh, do one thing. I'll remove all this, uh, guys, okay? Uh, I'll remove all these uh, hooks from this uh, register.java. I'll just go to control shift to and just pressing so that all the warnings will go off. Okay, so I'll close all this stuff. And I'll just simply, uh, earlier we created the hook, hooks methods in such, and I also have created hooks in register. Now I'm picking login, okay, just for the case, okay? You can create the hook methods in any of the step definition files, as you already know from the previous sessions, right? So I'll create one of the method here, public void uh, setup method, okay? And uh, I'll just uh, annotate this method with at the rate before, so that it become before hook. And uh, here I'll write on system.out.println, I'll just mention plus plus, okay? Before hook setup method got executed, okay? Like this, I'll write, and at the end also I'll write plus plus so that we can end the print statement properly. Public void uh, tear down, I'll write down, okay, and I'll just annotate this uh, method with uh, at the rate after guys, at the rate after hook, and hold the mouse on this at the rate after and import this uh, and write down system dot auto twenty ln. I'll write down double quotes. I'll just mention plus plus after hook set up uh, tear down, right? Tear down. Tear down method got executed. Uh, I'll give minus minus here, guys. For uh, before hook, I'm giving plus plus, and for uh, after, I'm just giving minus minus uh, just for the differentiation. For the individual steps, I'm giving double greater than. Okay, so that's fine. So, guys, uh, here if you remember the tagged hooks, okay, if you don't want this particular hooks methods to be executed for all the feature files, all the scenarios in the all the feature files, then what we have done, we can provide the tags here, right? I've already covered this in the previous in double quotes. Just provide double quotes here and just mention for only for the such scenarios, uh, at the rate such attack specified scenarios, which are generally there in the such dot feature file, this particular before hook should be executed before every scenario. Okay. And here, after every scenario, at the rate such. Okay. This, this you already know, guys. Okay. This you already know. If I go to the my runner and run this, you will see that this before hook and after hook will run for the scenarios in the such dot feature file, which are having that at the rate such tag specified. Okay. Let's see that. You see, for all the other scenarios, uh, you will not see before and after, okay? You see plus plus and minus minus symbols are nowhere any of, for any of these scenarios. So only for such scenarios which are having the iterate such tag, the last three scenarios, guys, you will see that before hook got executed and after hook got executed after the scenario. Before hook, before the scenario, after hook, after the scenario, before and after, okay? Now, what I'm trying to explain here is I'll again go to the login.java where we have created the before and after hooks. Here, it is optional that you can provide value also. Okay, either you can directly provide double quotes at the rate such inside the before hook to make this as a tagged hook, or you can also provide value attribute also. Okay, value attribute is equal to like that also you can mention. Okay, both are same guys. Okay, uh, this value is optional when only one uh, one thing is there. Okay, I'll show you guys what I mean to say. You will get the same output first of all. Okay, when I run this, you will get the same output for the scenarios in the such feature file which are specified with at the rate such tag. Okay, this uh, before and after who's got executed for remaining scenarios, you see, it's not executed. Okay, same output you got. See, for all the other scenarios, we don't have before and after, only for such, at the rate such tags, specified scenarios only, before who kind of after who are coming. So it will be useful when you have multiple attributes here, guys. For example, if there are no other attributes apart from this tag, you can directly provide like this. There's no problem. But let's say you have some order is equal to, order is equal to zero you have, okay? Comma. In that case, guys, it is a problem. So if you specify value is equal to, then it will be okay. This is the reason, guys. This is the reason behind uh, you uh, understanding about the value attribute. When you have other attributes, you can you cannot directly provide uh, uh, 
double quotes and let it search for tagged hooks. So in that case, you have to provide this attribute known as value attribute. This is the main purpose case, okay, of providing the value attribute. So if you have multiple, uh, you know, hook methods where you are giving order is called zero, order is called one, along with that, you want to provide some tags also. You want to make that hooks as tagged hook, then you provide the value attribute, okay. These were the uh, hook methods uh, that the value attribute will come into picture, okay. So hope guys understood what is the what is the use of value attribute and how to use that uh, in the hook methods. Okay, any of the hook methods. So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.